Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Crane with the Heart, and today I'm sharing a paper bag tag album that is inspired by a tutorial that I saw on Live with Prima. And it's a little bit different, for one thing, mine is huge. It's 9.25 inches by 5 inches. And the reason for that is I'm a very practical crafter. I, I, I just am not comfortable making things and not finding a use for them. So, for example, I had purchased the new uh, Prima. Let me pull these out. They are Prima stamps. So I got these angel wings and got her. Her I put in back in the thing backwards. I got her. And anyway, these Prima doll stamps are very cute. Super fun to use, but they're very, very big. They are seven, seven and a quarter inches tall. And so I had made tags with them, and then I was it was really fun to make them. But then what do I, I do with them? So I knew that I was going to be making an album for my daughter for her dance, because it was a big year of dance for her. It was her first sort of real year. She was on a competition team, and um, she was in five dances for recitals. So it was, it was a very big year for her, and she's only five years old. But I wanted to do like an album you know, to commemorate the year. So I decided to kind of combine the paper bag tag album that I saw on Prima. And the idea was to use it to house, you know, the tags that you get in swaps and things like that. So I thought I would use it with my album as well as using, you know, the paper bags that she used too. So let me show you the album. And it is very tall. So I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit as much as I can here. Okay. So, this is the album, and so here is, let's see if you can adjust, and you can see the front. So it's got lace all around. It's got a book ring holding it all together, and I used eyelets for that. And then I have some hand-dyed seam binding ribbon. So I just bought seam binding ribbon in bulk. And then I used um, Tattered Angels. Let's see, which one did I use for this one? I used Tattered Angels. Everything is the Glimmer Mist. And I believe it's Pomegranate. Mix is what I used for this one. So I only have like three bottles of um, Glimmer Mist. And I used something else. I don't know if it was Mr. Huey's or something like that. And I, I really liked the Glimmer Mist how it came out better than the other one. But anyway, I used my uh, Cricut to cut this out and love to dance was cut out with my Cricut. And then I used one of my new Anna Griffin um, folders to emboss the back. And then I've got some uh, flowers from my sash and I cut a little girl from the Twinkle Toes cartridge and used Peachy Keen face here and I think it looks very cute. And then I just did lace all around and also um, in the back as well. Okay? So it's very pretty. Okay. And, oops. So the way that it closes is it closes. So it's got this closure here. And this is a magnet, a basic gray magnet. And so it just opens up here. And that helps it kind of stand up too. I'm going to keep it standing up. And so the paper that I use, so I combine two papers. One is the My Favorite Things Die Cuts with the View. Um, I think it's also Recollections. It became a Recollections. I think it starts off as a Die Cuts with the View and then Recollections turns it out when it's older. It was a hot buy. It was $5, 12 by 12 stack. I use that as well as the Authentic Remembrance. So I combine those two for this project. Okay, so let me go ahead and get you going. So this side, get my thing out of the way, is the back of the front cover and I put a little picture here. It says tiny stars. And then what I did for each one is this is the paper bag album right here. And then I put the name of her dance. So this one was somewhere out there. This is the one that she did for her competition all year. So I have lots of pictures of this one. So what I did was um, 
in the paper bag style, there's a, a pocket here. And on one side, I have journaling, and I use some stamps and things like that that I use for my smash. I also use for this. And then a picture. And then there's a picture here of her performance. And then the tag pulls out of the paper bag. And so you've got a picture here, and then I've also got this sweet picture of her there. Okay, so that's how it's going to be through all the pages. And I don't have, this is the only tag that I've actually done because I'm still waiting on my pictures from the dance studio for the rest of the performances. So anyway, it's, I just put a ribbon through the eyelet and I just tied it with a piece of twine. And that's all I did for that. And then it flips up, whoops, a little too much. So I've got a picture of them at their um, picnic there. And then I have one of these um, Prima tags that I made using the Prima doll. I paper pieced it with paper that uh, I think this is from, shoot, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I paper pieced here and colored it in. And this is for all from my stash, flowers from my stash, some ribbon and some lace. And then on the back side, I included a picture of my daughter at the picnic. Okay? And then this is the next dance that they did, which is Let Me Entertain You. So again, I've got a picture, and the, there's her right there. And then it says, You're a star. And there's journaling on the back of there. And then a picture of them performing at recital. And then this will be where um, her official picture goes. So she got pictures done at the studio for each dance. She had to wear a costume. And they took an individual picture and then a, like a team picture. So those will go here. And then on the back of this one, I just thought the paper was just so darn cute. So that's a picture that she took with her dance group. That's her individual picture. Looks like the bird is sitting on her hat. And then here is another um, of these tags that I made. And this one I paper pieced using the authentic paper pad. And then this is a, gosh, I don't even know where I got these butterflies, but I painted them using Tim Holtz paints. And they have a little dauber, so you just paint it right over them, and it's so simple. And this is a piece of washi tape. And then just a piece of trim that I had that was just kind of loose. And then I use the angel wings and some stickles along the wings. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very sweet. And then here is um, a picture with Lily and her um, dance teacher who is going to UCLA. So she'll have different teachers this year. And then her next dance was um, We Got the Beat. So we Got the Beat. These are all cut with my Cricut. And then this picture of Lily there performing, and then at the recital, and then we've got, this was awesome, an orange and some journaling. And then on the tag, it will be her official studio pictures when they come. So I thought they'd be here by now, and they're not. So, And then on the back side, I put a picture of her. This was all at the studio when they were doing their pictures. So these are my own pictures I took. And there's with her team. And then here's another uh, Prima tag that I made. And a lot of this is, this is, I believe, also from the Authentic paper piece. I colored in her hair with um, Copic markers. And then I just stash items that I had gotten, like on the clearance rack. And um, when I cleaned out my stash, I found these old basic gray trim things that I had. And I used them here and also in her hair. And then on the back side of this is a picture I took with my phone of Lily. This was when they were there at the studio to take pictures. Okay, so there's that. And then here's this one. This is um, Shake Your Tail Feather. This one was not cut with my Cricut. This was um, thickers that I had in my stash that had enough letters to spell out something. So that's that. And then you can see this is paper also from the Authentique. Um, Remembrance. So, like I said, I combined the two papers, and then here is, and then we've got our journaling and picture here, and the tag, of course, comes out. 
so darn cute. And then this side is actually at the recital. This is with her other um, dance teacher. I took a picture of her right there. And then this is the last dance that they did, which was um, called Hay Batter. It's a Hay Batter Batter, actually, but I just put Hay Batter. And then, and this is actually from, if you've ever seen High School Musical 2, they do the Hay Batter Batter song, and uh, I Don't Dance or something like that. That's the one that she's dancing to. And so here's this, and another one here, and then our official pictures will be here. And then the last one that I have is this at, from the studio. And then it just folds up. This little part gets stuck on the back with the magnet, and then it just stands up. It, it, it does stand up, so let's see if I can do it so that you can see that it does stand up. It's nice and tall, and I think it really came out really cute. I love it. So if you are interested in making something like this, you may not want to make it quite so tall. I had to make it tall because my Prima tags were ginormous, and I, I love it because I was able to use those tags in my project as well as use stash items and new items and combine everything together. And it was just such a fun project. Thank you very much for watching today. This is Cindy with the Heart.